Hello everybody, my name is Mind and welcome back to the Air Team YouTube channel. We've got another tutorial for you today and we're going to be building the crew capsule and the block 5 variant of the Falcon 9 rocket. A lot of you might be hearing about the Falcon 9 rocket and the crew capsule, the Dragon 2 recently because today or Saturday it is, the day that this video is going up, should be the first successful launch of an American-made rocket with American astronauts in 10 years. I know, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Anyway, we're going to be building this thing at one-to-one -one scale. Now, one thing really quickly, we already have a Falcon 9 tutorial up, which you can watch here. You're going to need to watch this first to build the base of the Falcon 9 right here, because I'm simply going to be converting our uh, normal block uh, full thrust variants into the block 5 with the crew capsule on board. Anyway, like I said, we're going to be using the Air Team Resource Pack, and we're going to be converting it over. So there's a few things you should know. Our Air Team Resource Pack is available at aeroteam.org, and and if you need help with any of that, you can come on our server, airteam.craft.gg, and ask one of our amazing or any of our amazing admins for any help you need with that. And you can also check out some of our amazing builds. Anyway. We're also going to be using quite a few blocks here. We're going to be using 18 blocks and also going to be utilizing World Edit. Now, there are ways to get around World Edit here, but that's mostly gone over in the other video, so watch that first. I will be referring to specific blocks, such as the Endstone Bricks as the Black Bricks, the Nether Brick Stairs as the Black Wall Stairs, uh, and Black Wall, Black Wall. Um, we have Nether Brick Slabs, which will be Black Wall Slabs. The uh, purple stairs, which will be white wool slab or stairs. Um, the birch trap doors, which are um, wool trap doors. The acacia trap doors, which are black trap black wool trap doors. The spruce buttons, which are red buttons. Uh, we're going to be using the dead brain coral fans, uh, which are the white wool sideways slabs. And then we also have diorite, which is retextured into this gray brick texture, as well as jungle fences, which are the white wool. So with that all out of the way, we can get started with converting this thing into um, into a block 5 with a crew capsule on board. Real quick first, I believe the total height is a bit shorter than 70 meters. I think it's, um, I think it's like 68, somewhere around there. I might have or 68 blocks, might have forgotten that really quick. Uh, it is a total of six blocks wide at the base uh, and as well as at the top. Anyway, we're going to get started real quick. Now we're going to start off here at the very bottom of the rocket where the nine Merlin engines are. There's a bit of a color change, I believe, and we're going to be using the uh, gray brick textures for this. So we're simply just going to come around. I'm going to be using the replacer tool. So I'm going to type in replace or repel zero. I'm going to select that and we're going to just go around here like so. And then in the center we're going to knock all of these out. It's going to be replaced with the stairs in a bit of a circular pattern. Now as we work our way up there are of course landing legs and that will require the black wool uh, stairs and slabs and there are a couple options here for that because because uh, depending on how you like it uh, the basically there is a black outline that comes up a couple blocks on the Falcon 9 it depends on the type of style you want to go for a lot of people will prefer that the entire landing legs are planted back although that comes up quite far and gets rid of any white that would be there anyway because uh, just the way of one-to-one -one and the way the landing legs uh, cover up everything on the main body of the rocket. So I'm going to show you both ways, that way you have options to build the most preferable Falcon 9 Block 5. Anyway, so we're going to select the black wall and we're just going to come around with a two, uh, two high up ring around the uh, bottom of the Falcon 9, like so. And we're going to come in and we're going to replace the nether brick stairs. Just like so. Pretty simple. I've got to replace that one as well. Very nice. Very nice. And this is where things change a little bit. Or oh, hold on, we need to go up one more level. Apologies for mixing that up. And so this is where things will vary. 
So you can either do what I'm about to do and just we're going to recolor the uh, main ends of the landing legs like so, leaving that extra bit of white uh, left over, which will get rid of this blue thing right here in a minute, um, like so. And here we'll repaint all of this really quickly and this raceway will also move super super simple so depending on how you like it you could choose this option but if you want a more uh, dark a much darker uh, set of landing legs we're going to come in and replace all these stairs around the outside with the black wool stairs and then below those stairs we're going to repaint them to a black wool color and so it's going to look just a bit more menacing at the bottom of this falcon 9 looks pretty pretty cool anyway we're going to move up the rocket and simply repaint this bit right here into white because that's how it is in real life now what we're going to do i'm going to use world edit next for this trick we're going to need to get rid of the raceway on the right here and we're going to just come all the way up all the way up all the way up all the way up and do slash slash set air now if you don't have world edit you're gonna have to break it on your own what i'm going to then do is i'm going to get a acacia uh fence i believe it is sorry no they're not acacia fences we use nether brick fences my bad and we're going to run along the side on the left side with the black wall fences and this uh because the raceways on the falcon 9 block 5 were uh moved and uh they were are now painted in a black color scheme and we're just going to run that all the way down the side and there is also a, another raceway as you can see uh oh it's up there right yes and uh we can get on to the next bit all right we're going to do the spacex text on the side now for the block five it was moved to um i be i think i believe it's the right side of the rocket uh versus it being in the front on the uh full thrust versions uh and what we're going to do here is we're going to go up so here's a slap right here right here and we're going to go up one well including this half a block one two three and four now what we're going to do is we're going to need blue wool and an infested or sorry not infested just a normal a normal stone block right here so one two three four and we're going to get rid of this uh first one on the fifth and we're going to replace it with stone and then to the left it's going to be blue wool and above that more stone and i'm just going to make the shape out here and give you a bit of direction so above that we're going to have two blue wool then one on the right two then one on the left, then we're going to have another two, like so. Then it's going to go one, two here, and then one on the right, one on the left, one on the right, and one on the left. And then we're going to come up a bit more and do the SpaceX and Dragon logo. So we're going to need red wool now, and some black wool, and these are the three colors you need. So where the uh, grid fins are, we're going to come down one uh, or half a block right here, and we're going to do two red blocks, then a black block below it, and then a red and a blue block, oops, and a blue block like so. Now as we move our way up to the rocket, you will notice that the uh, interstage on the Falcon 9 block 5 is recolored to black. So we're going to simply change all of that out right now. I'm just going to place a block here and I'm going to use world edit repel zero of course now if you don't have it you can break it by hand pretty simple but we're just going to come around all the way up to right here which is right here uh, on the normal block five and we're going to come up to where the interstage has a little fairing sticking out of it to connect the two stages I'm going to come around just like so pretty pretty simple And one other thing we're going to have to do, or a couple other things we're going to have to do, is we're going to have to replace the grid fins with a new texture. We're going to be using the black nether brick stairs, or black wool stairs, uh, 
to give it a bit of a better look. So you guys already know how to make these from the previous tutorial. So I'm just going to go over replacing them really quickly. Just like so. And I'm going to need to do a bit of work here. Bam, bam. And then we'll do it on all four sides like so. And it just gives this rocket such a such a cool feel. And we should be done on all. If I can place this correctly on all four sides, just like so. Now, one other thing we need to do on the interstage is there are actually a couple of um, important uh, fin or sorry. Um, fairings that stick out so right here on the raceway we want to get rid of that first block and then on top it's going to be a um, black stair uh, oh sorry that's why I've not brought that down there you go that is all good and I believe right here if I'm not mistaken there is also a um, fairing that sticks out and or no sorry I believe this goes up here this is what I was referring to. There's going to be one right here, but I believe we need to move it over to the left. So I'm just going to do that really quickly. And then there is another fairing right here and we can replace that with the wool stairs. Anyway, that's it for the interstage and we can get on to the second stage and then the um, rocket or sorry, the crew capsule itself in just a moment. So for the second stage, it's very, very simple. We're just going to get rid of this um, raceway here and we're going to just place it on the left like we did below because they were, of course, moved and changed a bit. Now, now here's the big difference. We're going to get rid of the entire fairing up here. Pretty simple. I'm just going to remove it using world edit, but you can destroy it yourself. Remember, the fairing starts right here where these blocks Ooh, got some world edit uh, lighting issues. Anyway, what blocks are we going to be needing? We're going to need some smooth sandstone stairs. We're going to need some iron ore, which has been retextured in our pack to a very nice texture. We're going to need some endstone bricks. Uh, now, if you're in vanilla, uh, use uh, quartz pillars. If you're in vanilla with this, use um, really just black wool, in my opinion. Uh, and then we're also going to need trapdoors. Now there's not really an alternative for this in vanilla, so I do apologize on that end. Now uh, we're also going to need some purple stairs and uh, the dead brain coral fans. Uh, we're also going to need the white wool, the stripped oat log, the spruce button, a and some blue wool. And that should be it for the... Um, crew capsule at the top and we've almost got a complete block five so what we're going to do is the cargo bay it's going to go up four blocks now facing this way right where the text is you're going to want to go to the very front i believe if i can check myself to the very front and we're going to place the black around like so and it's going to come up four blocks just like so and this will be for the um, cargo bay of the crew capsule. And now what we're going to need it to do is we're going to place some temporary blocks. So I'm going to place some temporary blocks three high on all four sides. doesn't matter which one you do it on, uh, like so. And here we're going to place the white trap doors on the white side. Just like so, three high. And we're going to need to go on this side. This is going to be black on one side and white on the other. And this gives the perfect look for the fairings. On this side, it is all black. And this side as well. This side, it will be black again super super simple and then white right here and we're basically done with the cargo portion now what I like to do um, there's not really much photo evidence that we can get for the way that the inter 
or the second stage interacts with the uh, with the crew capsule. So what I'm going to do, what we do is just close it off right here just to give it a bit more of a complete look. If I can finish it right there. And then the crew capsule where the uh, astronauts go is going to be four high. And we're going to first off start with a ring. What I'm actually going to do first is I'm going to get rid of this, this and this. I'm going to get the white wall here, here, and all the blocks that we're going to need. We're also going to need some blue, but it's less important. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start in the center and we're going to go three blocks up. And then on the very top, we're going to make a circle. And is there a lighting issue? That should fix it. There we go. And then around the sides, we're going to need to use World Edit here. If you're not using World Edit, I suggest just using normal smooth stone normal smooth stone and placing it along where I'm about to place all this. If you do have world edit though, we're going to make a simple structure. We're going to make a bit of a inwards facing uh, thing of stairs. And we're going to come around, place some temporary blocks, just like so. And we're going to select these and this one, the right one goes like so. And just follow what I do. Super, super simple and make sure that they form a little shape that faces outwards. We're also going to need another set of temporary blocks, so we're going to place those around the sides. And this will be used as temporary blocks for our dead brain coral fans. If you don't have these, I suggest using stairs uh, facing inwards, so like so. Anyway, we're going. if you do have our pack and world edit, we're going to place these on either side. Get rid of that, select it, uh, just like so. And we can select these now and go to either side. And we'll do that one final time, or two final, two more times. Oops. Just like so. Super, super simple. And we're almost done. Now on this side, uh, we're going to have the uh, windows. Now there is a bigger window, I believe, right here. Although it's, it's a bit hard to get in. If you want to try to include it, send us a picture on our Discord. Invitation link is down below on how you manage to squeeze that in. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to use our stripped oak log texture, which is a very, very neat texture. It gives us the ability to have a half black, half white texture or any of our other ones in our resource pack. Uh, these are mostly used for aircraft, uh, for the cockpits, um, but we use or we find other ways to use it. Uh, so if you're not using our resource pack, you can either go with glass right here, or you can use uh, some black wool. And I'm going to show you, we're going to just pop that out right here, pop that out right here, replace the two, and we are almost done. We're going to need to go back in the inventory, going to get some blue wool. Now there's SpaceX text right here. Now you have two options. You can either place one SpaceX text right there like so, or the blue right there like so, and then a red button right here, which is sort of an American flag. I believe it might be on both sides, however, I think it's just on one. And then you can either have it with one white space here, that way the flag uh, is a bit more plain, or you could go all the way. I'm just gonna do that on either side like so. And there you have it. If you've watched the initial tutorial, you know how to make this now. Um, you will also be able to convert the first stage into the landed variant because it's super simple, uh, super similar. Um, it's just you need to rotate the text and the um, raceway. Anyway, that's about it. I hope the uh, astronauts on the very first crew uh, mission for SpaceX go extremely to plan, and I hope it's an amazing launch. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Congratulations on building this thing. Send us a picture on Discord. We always love to see you guys building our tutorials and maybe consider hitting that subscribe button down below. It does help support us and the channel. Anyway, take care. Bye-bye.